Yes, I'm just getting my daily minimums. So far, so good. I got a little bit of a sweat going now. So we're in shorts. I have two sweaters on though, and a little swim hat. Surf, surf for a warmer, something like that. But uh, it's actually a gift from somebody. But um, yeah, the world continues on. I guess you can skip right through because uh, there's really nothing new. Poet don't even know it. Um, yeah, the world situation is still, in my opinion, deteriorating. Again, it, it's not like it, it's like the stock market. If it's so high, you got a long way to go to the bottom. You know. Um, I think more progress, obviously, as things go into winter. Uh, maybe not too many more of them. Um, everything sort of having more energy needs but of course there's more stress with the energy so this is covered by a lot of different people in terms of what's going on with energy supply again i think that this will show itself more in europe than in uh, north america because frankly we're energy self-sufficient right but exports may increase if uh, Russian supply is cut off. They still haven't cut off Russian supply of energy. Uh, they're trying to get schemes for certain products, but they're, it's so essential. Like, that's a weird thing. If Russia really wanted to fight Europe, they would just cut them off and watch them fall. Uh, so Putin had stated, that, yeah, maybe he made a mistake in waiting so long to uh, send Russian troops in officially and you know if you had a do-over maybe you'd do it a little bit faster is the idea but um you know it is what it is i think uh, we're stuck waiting again the big thing at the top this should be headlines especially as the date approaches i think beginning of next week maybe it'll start to cover it increasingly is the uh u.s rail strike there's also a uk rail uh strike or something but i think it's just for passenger rail not really sure what's going on with that but uh the u.s rail strike congress is gonna have to do something that's why i'm not super concerned because i like it's pretty much guaranteed congress will step in now i don't know if they would defy congress um you know, it's sort of like with what happened with the teachers unions or support worker, educational support worker, public service workers uh, strike that was cropping up for the provincial Ontario thing. So the provincial government stepped back and they cut a deal. But uh, that was pretty big. Like public service just shutting down would be a big deal. But... Um, the rail is bigger in my opinion so you know honestly people will they'll still survive without government but it's when essential services that uh feed people or keep them warm and so on and so forth start failing that the issue gets bigger and this is why the energy thing is such a big deal um you know you'd almost want it to be planned destruction because if it wasn't then uh, it's just ridiculous how bad it's gotten on the energy front. Um, you know, there's more and more environmental issues. People are more concerned with the climate emissions targets than they are with making sure people have heat. So, I don't know. I'm not anti-environment. I'm not a climate change denier. Um, I think there are definite things going down, um, many of which aren't really the government focus. I think that what they're doing is not going to be enough to really stop it. So it's a bit like, you know, putting your arms up to stop your neck from getting cut. You're still going to get injured. You're still going to bleed out, but you're not going to bleed out as quickly. You know, Hail Mary. But, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, that's, I guess, what's on my mind for the most part today. Getting in my daily minimums. A little bit of jogging, a little bit of walking. Actually, did a little bit of body resistance exercises earlier. Still fasted. 
um, aside from the monster, which was like 10 calories or something, and the lemon I put into it. Um, yes, green monster with lemon or lemon concentrate works. It probably work with margarita too. <sighs> Nonetheless, I am incredibly low energy today. I tried that don't have coffee in the morning thing like for the first 90 minutes. Easy peasy, no problem. I just drank water instead. But uh, then I had the coffee and I, you know, I haven't really had as much coffee this morning. Probably just like 10 cups worth rather than the 30 I normally have. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm honestly feeling a little bit like fasted, I think is what it is. It's not fatigue so much. Like I still have normal capacity. It's just I don't have that extra capacity today. Um, I don't feel energized. I'm not down, blah. I tried the light therapy today too. I think it did help. Like I, I think that contrasted. So instead of having the coffee for the first 90 minutes, I sat in front of red and blue light. And I don't know if combining them actually negates the benefits, but I figure if blue light's good for you and red light's good for you, if you combine red light and blue light, it's a bit like sunshine. And if I'm getting up at five in the morning, there's no sunshine here at five in the morning. It takes, uh, I don't know, till nine or so before the sun is up. So it's winter. So maybe this will be good. I don't know. I'm not really noticing anything and then I'll be dipping in the lake later. I just want to move some stones around as my midway for this hike or walk. So an hour out in the woods. Woods are apparently good for you too for aromatherapy or pollens. It's supposed to be good for you. I'm not sure which species of cedars are that but there's not a whole lot of stuff out here other than moss. The uh, person who owned this property before it was donated to uh, the public, I guess is what it was, sort of, um, the crown, sort of, was that uh, it reminded them of Ireland. So they were Irish. They were an Irish person, and they set up a little manor house here and, you know, uh, some agriculture, apples, apple orchards and roses, lots of, uh, <laughs> they're basically all apple species or all uh, rose species, but, uh, they had a good garden here, but, uh, frankly, you know, it's a runes now because the building burnt down in the 1970s or something, but, uh, just left a waste. And I guess they do that a lot in the UK for runes, or they used to, like at a certain point for gardens. So they had rune gardens. It was a end thing at a certain point. Still is sort of, they're nice. They're pretty pretty, but uh, this is more uh, rune bushland. So it's an authentic uh, abandoned place as rune, but it's uh, still a site that people come out to. And sort of in this area, this is sort of off to the side, but there's a bunch of stuff going on here. But uh, yeah, it's a, uh, a lot of probably glacial deposits. So I'd said quartz in the last video, but I'm pretty sure they're feldspar. Um, they may have a little bit of quartz inclusion, but um, I want to say pyrolites, but uh, probably not pyrolites. Um, it's a lot of inclusions, a lot of mixed mica or mica. See, it does sort of look quartzy on the white stuff. But uh, there's a variety. I'm guessing they're all sort of from the same area. Now, apparently this stuff is like, can be mineral form, but it's weird because I guess it's the stuff that came up to the surface. And what I heard is that this stuff must have been underwater at some point, like I'm guessing the last uh, glacial period. And then this was, been dropped and then as the glacier was melting it must have been underwater or something but uh, there's a lot of these this individual stones and then the rest of all this is like limestone like authentic limestone so you can apparently have inclusions but um, they're not very common and this is sort of on the edge of the area but the weird thing is is that I guess um, yeah, I guess that this area here actually is a mixed 
rock area. So I guess the edge of the, or the top, I guess it must have ris risen to the surface of the, okay, okay, so here's the thing. This stuff would have been underwater at some point and compressed, right? And then it turns into limestones or sandstone. So basically the limestones are the calcium, whereas uh, sandstones are more silica. So limestone will be calcium based, whereas the sandstone, I guess, is silica based. Um, what happens with this stuff is, is that as it's, I guess, on the bottom of an ocean, but you think there'd be sand here or something. I don't get how there's no sand, but I guess that's glacial tills, like clays are more advanced. So you would have glacial clays. I guess that's what's in the lake itself. So most of that would have probably washed down over the years. And there's no soil here. Um, very, very thin soil. So this is the sort of a rock cedar area. And then it's just like, it's probably how it's been forever. Like at some point the trees came back in, but the soil quality was never really that good here. So cedars are very hardy. Old grandmother tree. Um, it's not all cedar, it's sort of mixed. I guess it's supposed to be Laurentian, but this is a special type of uh, forest based upon the absence of soil here. It's basically growing in stone. Nonetheless, oh, is that the eagle? Yeah, that's bald eagle. I think it's bald eagle. It's a white tail too though. Oh, sort of went out there. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, you don't see eagles all too often, but uh, bald eagles are pretty rare here actually. Um, I'll take that as a good omen. And I have Wings of the e Eagle. Wings of the Eagle. It's a trancy type song that I was listening to earlier. Nonetheless, um, yeah. Uh, kind of move some stones. Just more of the same. It's raining, like freezing rain almost. So this should be interesting. I'm actually a little chilled already, so we'll see how this goes for timing. I'm not sure how my memory is, so it may do low mem at some point. Ugh.
So <laughs> I just finished my hot shower and uh, it's weird because the hot shower sort of takes away the cold. But <laughs> as soon as you like get out, it's like the body starts cooling itself from the inside. So it's uh, a bit like an ice pack. Like you know, when you use an ice pack, it penetrates, penetrating cold penetrates or takes away the heat. And then, uh, yeah, basically the entire body feels like it's uh, ice packed. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, yeah, not bad. But uh, just huddling inside a uh, cold weather sleeping bag. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to break my fast. <laughs> 